We at Dedicated Community Bank are pleased to sponsor the Small Business Person of the Year Award given by the Greater Florence Chamber of Commerce. Our bank is a small business, and we recognize the many challenges that small business owners face daily. Staffing, accounting, marketing, planning. Business owners wear many hats and must be experts in all these areas to survive. This year's honoree has the skill set to manage all aspects of his business, even if that requires singing, dancing, or playing the piano. Yes, our Small Business Person of the Year is so talented in fine arts that he's actually performed at the National Cathedral and at Carnegie Hall. More importantly to our community, he was an outstanding fundraiser for the School Foundation winning the People's Choice Award in last year's Dancing for Our Future Stars fundraiser. When Jared Tippins became a pharmacist in 2009, he worked for one of the national chains, gaining experience and in becoming involved in various pharmacy industry groups. He took on leadership roles and served as the PD Regional Director of the South Carolina Pharmacy Association president of the PD Pharmacy Association, and member of the National Community Pharmacist Association. After a few years, his hometown of Lake City called him back, and Jared joined the pharmacy staff at the medicine cabinet. Apparently, working in an independent family pharmacy was, pardon the pun, just what the doctor ordered. In 2016, Jared realized his dream and opened the pharmacy at Hoffmeyer and Beltline in Florence. As owner, operator, and pharmacist in, char pharmacist in charge of the pharmacy, Jared is able to be active in his community and serve his fellow citizens of the PD region. That service was elevated to an unforeseen level in 2020 when the COVID-19 pandemic struck. Whether you are a patient of Jared's pharmacy or not, you couldn't help but notice driving by that the parking lot was frequently full of people seeking a COVID test, a vaccination, or medication. There are even stories of Jared working the drive through line with a walkie-talkie, relaying patient information inside to cut down on wait times. With the dedication to excellent customer service and continual improvement, it's no surprise that Jared has been recognized by his industry with several honors. He received the CVS Pharmacy Paragon Award in 2010 and, and 2011, the Distinguished Young Pharmacist Award from the South Carolina Pharmacy Association in 2015, and the Excellence in the Innovation Award from the South Carolina Pharmacy Association in 2022. Despite an extremely busy career, Jared finds time to give back to his communities in several ways. His service includes the McLeod Health Foundation Board of Trustees, the McLeod Legacy Society, McLeod Fellows, the All for Autism Board of Directors, the Florence Rotary Club, the Florence District One Fellows in Education, the Florence County Disabilities Foundation Board of Trustees, the Lake City Community Theater Board of Directors, and the School Foundation Dancing for Our Future Stars. Ladies and gentlemen, please join Dedicated Community Bank and the Greater Florence Chamber of Commerce in recognizing the 2023 Small Business Person of the Year, Jared Tippins. Man, what a surprise. For a man that usually has a lot of words to say, I am um, utterly surprised and at a loss for words um, for this recognition. I guess I could start by saying thank you. Thank you to this community. What an overwhelming amount of support. 
that the pharmacy on the corner of Hoffmeyer and Beltline has received from this community. I, rem I remember not too long ago, I was knocking on people's doors as I was 30 years old and had zero money, but I had a vision that we could create a pharmacy home in Florence and take care of the community around us. I can also say thank you to my family and friends. What an unwavering support that they have been to me. With my flight of ideas, ranting on about what I want to do next, thinking, how can we accomplish this? They're always there, always supportive and appreciative. For my family, my mom, who always pushed, pushed a little more, pushed even more, <laughs> even to I was on the edge of the brink, but she was a great pillow of strength for me. <laughs> to Jill, who's always been by me and supported me, I'm appreciative for you. Man, I don't know what else to say, but thank you, Florence. What a great community that we have. I'm so appreciative of the partnerships that we have. I'm appreciative of the people who walk in the door. Appreciative of my team that go above and beyond. And when we went through the pandemic and we had an opportunity to step up, step up to the plate, and reach out and take care of people, we did. We vaccinated people in long-term cares all across this state. People getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning, driving to the beach, driving to the Midlands, wherever it might be, to give vaccinations. From doing six, seven, eight hundred COVID tests a day in a chaotic environment, along with filling hundreds and hundreds of prescriptions a day given vaccines on top of that. Everyone on my team stepped up to the plate, and I'm appreciative for them, because without them, there would be no pharmacy, and there would be a void in this community. Thank you all. I appreciate it.